Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. Today I will be quick review of this 2.5 inch transparent external hard drive enclosure. Especially I have a lot of reason for buying this set of laptop hard drive enclosure. So please keep watching this video to know the reason behind our purchasing of this hard disk enclosure. And I'm sure after that maybe you desire to buy this product. So let's take a closer look at the product information. Okay, this is an Oracle transparent 2.5 inch SATA external hard drive enclosure. It supports laptop SATA interface HDD or SSD and SATA M.2 SSD enclosure. That's when you can externally connect a SATA M.2 SSD with a SATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosure by using this transparent 2.5 inch hard disk case. Its data transmission speed can reach up to 5 Gbps via USB cord and up to 6 Gbps via SATA 3.0. Although the performance is depending on the SSD and the laptop's USB drive host controller feature. It supports Windows, Linux and Mac both operating system and no need any third party software to manage this device. It supports new UAS protocol, I mean USB attached HCSI protocol which is allow a faster read-write data speed to and from storage device. Reduce the utilization of CPU, data delay and waiting time. Ok now let's take a closer look of this enclosure. Alright this included cable connects to the PCB using a USB 3.0 micro B connector and encodes into your computers. It is a standard regulated type A USB 3.0. This hard disk enclosure comes with a transparent body and the exterior construction all plastic. The enclosure itself has a sturdy look and feel and its build quality is good enough. And no need any screwdriver or any tool to open this case. That's mean the installation process is very simple. The PCBA build quality is very good because of high-end design of its PCBA circuit board and a SATA interface support 2.5 inch SATA SSD or HDD the thickness of HDD and SSD between 7mm and 9mm and its micro B interface compatible with USB 3.0 and it has two device LED indicator on the PCBA board I have a SATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosure attached with a SATA M.2 SSD now I'll be showing you by installing this internal M.2 SSD adapter in this transparent 2.5 inch external hard drive case. Just put your 2.5 inch HDD or SSD onto the slot and very gently slide into the port. Alright, as you can see the installation process is very simple and there's no need any screw ever to fixing it. After installing your hard drive, just secure it by closing the enclosure uppercase. After that, connect the USB cable to USB 3.2 micro B connector and connect the standard regulator type A USB 3.0 to your computer's USB 3.0 port. Alright, it has two device LED indicator. The blue LED indicates that the drive is active and blinking pink LED will indicate the data read write status. Okay, now let me show you the read write speed of this device. Okay, as you can see the result. This internal SATA M.2 SSD with SATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosure 
sequential read speed can reach up to 560 Mbps and sequential write speed can reach up to 530 Mbps. Now let's check performance benchmark result of this SATA M.2 SSD with SATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosure by using this transparent external hard drive case. Alright, as you can see the result is here. Oiko claimed that its data transmission speed can reach up to 5 Gbps via USB cord. I think the performance benchmark result of this external device is pretty acceptable via USB cord because transmission speed of any device usually less than the actual transmission speed. Okay, now let me tell you the reason behind our purchasing of this external transparent hard drive case. Specially, I bought this for making Windows to go drive. A certified Windows to go USB drive cost around 170 to 200 bucks, and I bought this three device combination only in 92.82 bucks. And there are a lot of advantages of this three device combination. Three main advantages are number one, when you're talking about a NGFF M.2 SSD, then you can clearly assume about its speed. Number 2. These three devices are portable, every part is easy to install and easy to remove. No need any third party application to manage these three devices. 
Number three, you can internally connect this SATA M.2 SSD with or without SATA M.2 SSD enclosure on your old or new generation laptop. If you want, you can check out our tutorial link in the description below. However, especially about this to making a fast Windows to go drive. In our next tutorial, I'll be showing you by configuring this device as a Windows to go drive. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.